Hello guys, so the reason I'm making this video is to show you how to properly kite games Because it's season 10 and I feel like no one knows how to properly do it, not even pro players So yeah, let's just get straight into it Well the blue buff has really low attack range, really low movement speed, really low <coughs> attack range As you can see it's 0 0.493, 200 movement speed And my attack speed is not very far from it, my attack speed is just, you know, some basic attack speed that any champion has on their initial clear Besides Nocturn or Jarvan who have like real high attack speed from level 1 So the way you do it is pretty simple Like the concept is that the blue buff is so slow That he only hits you once for every 2 auto attacks you deal if you kite it properly And you lose no DPS while doing this Because you are just moving small steps Let me show you This is really simple and anyone can do it You can be iron and you can still kite this really easily just small steps, you can use A move, you can use S click, whatever you want, I prefer to just click. Whatever, I guess you get the point. So in the long run, he loses DPS, so you will, will be able to save a few basic attacks from the blue buff. And you move it wherever you want, while losing no DPS. And it's especially easier if you have high attack range like Randall, he has 175 instead of 125, like most melee champions, like Lee Sin or Trindamir or Set or whatever. And Things change a bit when you have a bit higher attack speed. When you have around one attack speed, you're gonna do something else. You have to move between each auto attack. And as you can see, I lose no DPS and I move it wherever I want. And you can even do this where you take no hits, as you see. It's possible to take no basic attacks from the blue buff. It's not really humanly possible, you will take like one or two. But if you practice really hard, you can virtually take no damage. You'll be full HP after clearing if you have this much attack speed. But it's really hard. Look, so you take no basic attacks. If you play Jarvan and you are level 1, you can solo the blue buff with the flag attack speed. Like no leash, just full HP blue buff, level 1. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Alright, so on the blue buff, it's easy. But on the red buff, it's quite hard. I mean, not, not that hard, but it's a bit harder than blue buff. I know that there's some pro guide video that tells you you can take... You can deal 3 basic attacks and take 2. Wait, I, do, I don't even know if, if I dealt 3, what the fuck. Anyway. Just deal 3 basic attacks, you take 2 and you move. But if you do this, you are not actually getting any sustain. Because you still trade even hits. <laughs> I fucked up the red buff clear anyway. Anyway, the proper way to do it is to do a cycle of 2 hits into kite, into 1 hit, into kite, into 2 hits, into 1 hit, and just repeat that. And as you can see the red buff moves smoothly, everything is fine. And it's a lot easier to do it with high attack range champions, you can take bigger steps. And it's easier to kite. But yeah, when you have attack speed it changes quite a bit. You basically repeat the blue buff clear that I showed earlier. So 
so it's two hits into guide over and over. And the wolves have really high movement speed and a bit higher attack speed. So let's say on Crandall I want to clear this thing. Just make small steps. And the wolf will just follow you. And you might lose like a fraction of a second of DPS sometimes, but it's worth it. And depending on your clear speed or whatever, sometimes you will move it up even to here. So if you think about it, let's say you normally would kite the wolf to here. So now it's like this. And think about this as a distance. It's maybe like 3 seconds. Yeah, I guess. 3 seconds to move like that. So you save 3 seconds. Depending on your champion. I think if you're level 2 Trundle and you do the wolves, I think you can drag it up around here so that's pretty pog yeah that's pretty much it I think well I think this is a fundamental that everyone should know so it's, it's not very complicated just people don't really pay attention to this stuff yeah cheers